So now that we've discussed interlinked documents, let's talk about how to update them. The first and most important thing to remember is linked documents do not immediately update when that document is changed. Remember when inserting a linked document, we always insert from an established version. This means any small changes made to the document do not immediately cause problems anywhere that document was linked. That document could even be deleted or your permissions to use it revoked and anywhere it was inserted will remain intact. But what if you want to update a linked document that you've inserted? Let's take a look. The key thing to remember when updating a linked document is a new version must be created. In this example, I have inserted a pneumatic cylinder subassembly from a different document into this top level assembly. You can see that they are linked by the version symbol next to them in an instance list. I've reached a point where a design change has been made to the document with the pneumatic cylinder. This newer design is longer, uses different materials, and has some additional features that have recently been added. And I want to update the pneumatic cylinder in the separate document where it was inserted. The first step is to create a new version. To do this, click the Create Version command from the toolbar. Give the version a name and click Create. Now that we've created a new version, anywhere where that document is linked, you'll see an update symbol. So if I go back to the other document, you can see the version symbol in the instance list now has a blue update circle around it. This is not an error. It just means that a newer version is available. You do not have to update, but if you want to simply right click and choose update link document. A tip, if you have several link documents that you want to update, there are a few ways to update many link documents at once. First, Controller shift select the link documents from the instance list and choose update link documents. Or if you want to update all link documents in a tab, right click the tab at the bottom and choose update link documents. One last thing, by default, Onship assumes that you will want to update to the latest established version in the link document, but you can choose from a list of previous versions by clicking selective update and then clicking the version graph icon.